Hi, this is Mr. T talking about piecewise functions. Up here at the left we have a, a definition of a piecewise function. f of x equals, and now we have three different rows in this combined with the curly brackets. The way we read this is this is the function definition for values of x that are smaller than 1. We use f of x equals 3 for values of x that are greater than or equal to 1 and less than 4. And we use the function definition 11 minus x for values of x that are greater than or equal to 4. So when we do function evaluation, remember it's asking us to plug this value into f of x for the x's and calculate. On piecewise functions, before we substitute in, we have to decide using these domain statements, these inequalities, which of these statements are true for this value of x. And the one that's true, we then use its function rule. So f of negative 2, we have to look which of these does it make true. Well, negative 2 is less than 1. So we're going to use this definition for this, pro for this particular problem. So we're going to take 2, and then we're going to substitute in the negative 2 for the x plus 1. So we get 2 times negative 1, or we get negative 2. So that's the value of f of negative 2. Now if we evaluate f of 0, 0 makes, again, this first inequality true, because 0 is less than 1. It does not make this one true. It does not make this one true. It'll only make one of them true if it's a proper piecewise function. So again, we're going to substitute in 0 for this x. 2 times 0 plus 1 is 2 times 1, and that's 2. f of 1. 1 is not less than 1. This is false. But x, if 1 is, greater than or equal to 1. So we use this definition. Now this time, this is a constant, so there's no x to substitute in. So f of 1 is just 3. If we find f of 3, again, that 3 is between 1 and 4, so we use this definition, so this is 3. We come down here to f of 4. It is not less than 4, so it's not in here. It's not less than 1, but it is greater than or equal to 4. It's actually equal to 4, so we use this definition. So we get 11 minus 4, which is 7. And finally, if we do one more, f of 6, again, that makes this last inequality true. So we use this definition, so we get 11 minus 6, which is 5. So function evaluation, when we do piecewise function, is still substituting for the x. The only thing is we have to decide which of the function, value, which of the function rules we use. They'll have multiple function rules. I hope this helps you.